الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم. I have, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, have, have you been? Not, not yet. That's it. You got to become Muslim and then go with me. We'll go together. Oh, every year? It's once a year? Uh, so the Hajj is once a year. Once a year. But Umrah, you can go at any time. Oh, no way. Yeah. You're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go, man. I love going. Oh, One of my wow. favorite places on the planet Earth. Alhamdulillah. Oh, yeah. No, I've, I've, I learned about it in school. You know? Nice, they, they, nice, they nice. They didn't teach us this. Nice. Uh, about, about the uh, traveling to mm. there and the... Uh, Take it. Oh, uh, these are all free. I like it. I like it. Good, yeah, good. So, what do you, what do you now? Are you, what, what's your belief? Uh, just kind of like open-minded to like nice. all sorts of things. Like I was raised like Buddhist, Jewish, and so Buddhist and Jewish. That's an interesting mix. <laughs> yeah, my mother is from East Coast and Jewish, and my my father is from Japan. So. Oh wow. So, uh, more Shintoism or straight yeah. Buddhism? Yeah, um, yeah, I got you. Well, um, like, you know, it, that's a cool mix, man. It is. <laughs> your dad is yeah. Japanese, your mom's Jewish, huh? Yeah, that's really that, that's really unique. Like, but it neither like practices. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel going you. To the temple, going What's your to name? Red, red. Rad, nice to meet red. you, Rad. Yeah. Rad, like radical Rad. Red, red, red. Red. R E N. Yeah, like red. Oh, Ren, Ren. Gotcha. Hey, yeah. Ren. All right. This is the Quran in English, and it's a gift from me to you. All right. It's oh, yours. Hey, okay. This is uh, yours and now. And it's in English. And it's in English. Wow. And easy English. Who took the time to do that? A lot of really good people spent time and translated and hey, improved the nice English. And yeah, we have people one. that... My roommate. Your roommate? Wow, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Where's the other one at? Uh, he'll be coming up next. All right. Uh, so, uh, we'll so you already know some Muslims, mashallah. Uh, oh, yeah. He yeah. yeah. was looking at the nation whole whole of Islam. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. But let's stick to this. So now here, we have... The Quran, that is the words of Allah, right? Yeah. It's not the words of any man. Like if you look at the Bible, you'll find uh, the gospel according to Luke or according to Matthew, according to this, according to that. And most of those, as we know, are not even written by them. Right? They were written hundreds of years later and given names later. Interpreted or trans not translated. That's it, translated into one. Originally, the message of Jesus, peace be upon him, would be in Aramaic. But the earliest scriptures are in Koenig, Greek, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah so, so the Quran was revealed in Arabic to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It was compiled in Arabic. Now, this is a translation, but we have the Arabic and we memorize the Arabic, right? Why? To, oh. Some sayings, right, that maybe don't. No, the Quran, so one -one. that is true. Anytime you translate, it's, you, you, it's a little difficult to preserve the message. And that's the beautiful thing about the Quran. This is why I'm not Arab ethnically, but I learned the Arabic language. Oh, no, where are you, yeah. uh, where are you from? I'm originally Pashtun, Afghan, Pashtun. from Pakistan. Pakistan? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Good stuff. Ever Pakistan. been there? or? Uh, not yet. Not yet. But most likely when we go for when, passport, when, most likely not. No, don't worry about it. I got an American passport too. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll tell you what. When we uh, when we go to when, after you become Muslim, we go to Mecca. We'll go to Pakistan on the way back. You good? I got you. This right? is a, oh yeah. I don't know. I, like I'm always skeptical. There's certain countries you hear about going to. Yeah, That's don't worry a, about it, man. Right How you doing, bro? Yeah. What's going on? How you doing? You got a Quran or? I don't have one. Oh, there you go. You do today. It's yours, free. Yeah. So in English. Yeah. A lot of good people donate money. What do we do with that money? None of us get paid. Instead, we go and we buy these and we give them out free for you guys. So now, the key there is whether you're in Saudi Arabia or Pakistan or America, it doesn't really matter. In the end, it's what you believe, right? Right. We as Muslims have a very simple belief that there is one creator, right? That one creator sent all the prophets, right? For example, Moses and Abraham and we're good, we're good, we're good. No, 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 we're good, we're good. Don't worry about it. You, you are our guest. This is free gift from us to you. You know, Alhamdulillah, there are Muslims around the world that donate and we, we use it to be able to give these out free of charge, right? Now, when you have that belief that there's only one creator, right? And you have a direct relationship with that creator. You pray directly. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, told us that when you pray, you recite the first chapter, you'll see Al-Fatiha, the opening chapter. He said, when you recite it, Allah responds to you, right? Even if we don't hear it here, Allah is having that direct conversation with us, right? So that's such a beautiful, I'll show it to you right here. Oh, yeah. yeah this is the first chapter. 
It's called the opening or Al-Fatiha, right? And this is in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate or especially merciful. All praise be to Allah, to God, the Lord of all the worlds, the most compassionate, most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. Like how beautiful is that, right? You're not, you're not, this is not a book uh, about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But this is the book that is the words of the creator that was revealed, right? So now it's not like when you, when you sin, you don't have to go to a priest and confess. You can, you can make tawbah, you can repent directly with your creators. You will see oh, the no brothers way, anytime, any place. anytime, any place, right? We have, we have scholars who study Islam. So if you have questions, you can ask, but your relationship with your creator is a direct relationship, right? And that, are you, I'm sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. Are you familiar with uh, portable shrines? Uh, you have in your religion. Portable shrines? Like what type of shrines? If you want to like pray right. any, on the go. If you're, I got if you're you. Traveling, Great. In Islam, one of the unique characteristics of this um, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, the pepperoni is still there. Okay. Yeah. So we have uh, in Islam a beautiful aspect to the religion, which is that we can pray anywhere. Uh, we don't need a shrine. We don't need a mosque. It's best to pray in a mosque. But wherever you want to pray, as long as the place is clean, you can pray. Right? So now we have, uh, we got halal pepperoni. Oh, okay, guys, I just want to make sure. All right. So there you have a very easy concept. You want to pray, you don't need a portable shrine, you don't need a mosque. You do the evolution, you find which way is Mecca, and you can pray. Right? Most of us will have a rug, right? A prayer rug. And why is that? We don't need one, but sometimes you don't know if the place is clean. Sometimes it may be they have mud or whatever, and you can put it down and pray on. And inshallah, after you become Muslim, I'll buy you one. Don't worry about it, inshallah. So, so like a baptism or like, I know the, the more Yeah, like no, nah, we're not going to dunk you in water or any of that kind of stuff, man. Easy. What, do you believe in one creator? You believe in one. Do you believe that creator sent messengers and prophets? That's a Muslim belief. That's it. You testify to that, you're Muslim. Yeah. Not a pledge. Right. I mean, the pledge is just a, you, you say your testimony of what's in your heart. Right. So if you already believe in one creator and you believe that creator sent prophets, right, then you already have the Muslim belief. Right. Oh, I see. Abraham, like, for example, Jesus, you don't believe he was God, right? No? Right? Exactly. So, but you do believe there was a man named Jesus, right? And he was a good man who taught good things. He brought a message, right? I don't know if I, yeah, right? I'm not exactly Catholic or Christian. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm not Christian or Catholic either, but I believe in Jesus because in the Quran. But I believe in him as a prophet, right? Abraham, I believe he was a prophet. Moses, he was a prophet. These were people sent by God as yeah. guidance, right? The first being Adam and the last being the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Like the, like the, the firearm policy. Right. Islam. We, like the weapons policy. We don't really have a weapons policy, but we do believe people should be able to defend themselves, right? Well, like, so. I, thought, like, uh, I guess, like, what, uh, I guess, like, what the, uh, like, is there a, like, a, a weapons policy? In what uh, sense? Um, like, I don't know, just like, um, like, are there, like, gun clubs, let's say? Uh, gun clubs. You could. I don't know if any Muslim own gun clubs, but but if you uh, if you want to go shooting, uh, I'll go with you. We'll, 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 me and you will start a gun club. How's that? I don't have any guns, but I don't <laughs> All right. In that case, you might want to remedy that situation first, and then we'll talk about a gun club. <laughs> yes. The Second Amendment is there in this country, so we're. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, that's right. Alhamdulillah. I know in Japan, no guns. No guns at all. Right? Swords. I think like, 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 like yeah, it's like in England, you know how like um, they, they're, they're a lot of stabbings yeah. where, yeah. Um, where stabbing takes place. Just in like Islam, we believe in being responsible, right? So if you are a responsible gun owner, alhamdulillah, nothing wrong with that, right? Well, you gotta follow, the rules of follow the rules of the country, yeah. exactly, yeah. the legal. You know. Sure, all of this is free. Take whatever you like. So what about you? What's your belief set? Oh, I, I think like a lot of different guns. Gotcha. I'm not sure. Right. So, what do you think about if there was one God? That's very impressive to me. Right. I think there's so many, so much to even one moment. In my life. Exactly. I can't even describe. That is amazing, right? But that is the greatness of that one God 
that the entire universe and whatever is above and below and other than it is all run by that one great creator. Of course, and they're merciful and loving. That's why you see the beginning of the Quran in the name of the one who's the most benefit, most beneficent, most merciful, most loving, right? And that God, that creator, I mean, think of it this way, right? Obviously, if the whole universe depends on that one creator, he's more intelligent than us, right? He's greater than us, right? If you were to create something new, right, some new technology that nobody has seen, nobody knows how to use it correctly, wouldn't you send some kind of instructions with it, right? So this is why we believe that creator, he sent guidance, he sent prophets, he sent books. From those prophets, Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon all of them. The first being Adam, the last being Muhammad, peace be on them, right? And he sent those messages, the one that you have in your hand, this is the Quran, this is the instructions for you, this is your user manual, right? What do you think about that concept? Um, it's very amazing. Yeah. I'm very impressed. And, uh, trying to get closer relationships. Excellent. That's why you're here. I have made that, you know, mistakes in the past. All of us. All of us. And that's the beautiful thing about Islam. When you become a Muslim, your past is wiped clean. Anything you did wrong in the past, any kind of mistakes, sins, evil, Walaikum Salatul Bashir. All of that is wiped clean and you've begun anew. Right? So you, is she ready to begin a new life or what? Um, maybe, maybe someday. Think of it this way. I'm to ease on into it. You do believe there's one creator, right? At least one. Right? At least. But think, if there were two creators, like they think of this, right? What if one wanted the sun to rise from the east and one wanted from the west? You would have universal wars, turf wars, god wars, right? You would have planets being destroyed and bombs being made out of suns and you know all that kind of chaos and you would see total chaos, right? But you see the universe runs in a harmony. Even when it's the time for a planet to, to end, there is a harmony to it, right? Even when you look at the way, I'll give you an easy example, think of this, right? You breathe in oxygen and put out carbon dioxide. How are you doing? My, right? Favorite shake is back. It's a joke, um, right? Then you have animals that take in the car, they take in oxygen and put on carbon dioxide, right? So now if it was just humans and, and animals, the, the whole balance of nature would be destroyed. But Allah made such a beautiful way that there are plants, trees that take in that carbon dioxide, put out oxygen, right? Yeah. Look at the beautiful balance of what Allah created. Each plant puts out the exact right amount of carbon into the ground to keep the soil to being fertile, right? Who made all that? If there were two creators and they disagreed, how would they solve it? Can you run a country with two presidents? You can't. No, man. Imagine, just imagine if Biden and Trump were both presidents. <laughs> how are you going to do anything, right? In the end, you got one authority. In the end, we have one creator, one Allah, one God, right? There are spiritual people, there are pious people, there are salihin as we say, or prophets, anbiya, and messengers, rusul, we respect all of them. But in the end, one great creator, right? You know in your heart, you feel that message, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to say. Yeah. It's very hard for me to say. I have a hard time telling someone else their God doesn't exist and mine does. Right, but but this, is, this is not the way to do it. We're not, we're not out here saying, hey, your God doesn't exist. But the issue is, let's say somebody worships a cow. Have you ever seen people that worship cows, right? I've seen it in my, my own eyes. I've seen, I was in India, I saw people worshiping. Like the cow would urinate and people would splash that urine on them, right? all this kind of stuff, right? Look, have you ever had a burger? What's that? A burger, a beef burger? Oh, yeah. Have you had a steak? Yeah. So, you, right? But you've eaten meat before, right? That's why you have canines, right? So now the issue is, if that was God, if that was something worthy of worship, how could me and you be biting into it and putting ketchup on it and saying yummy, right? It doesn't make sense, right? So now it's not about you going to a Hindu and saying your God doesn't exist. It's reality. That's not God. Like if somebody tells you two plus two is five, right? And you're like, bro, two plus two is four. It's not like you're trying to insult them. That's just reality. Right? When they say three is one and one is three, it just, it's just mathematically they're wrong. Right? Yeah. When they say Jesus was God, but then in the Bible he's praying to God. Right? When they say God knows everything and in the Bible Jesus doesn't know when is the hour. Right? So it's not about us trying to insult anybody. It's just reality and falsehood, like in reality and fiction. Right? The fact that there is one creator you can sell, like look, look how amazing your body is. 
every cell in your body, right? Every function in your body, right? Where'd all that come from? God. There you go. You've got it. You've got the belief, right? Yeah. And you already, me and you agreed that that God is going to be more intelligent, greater than us. So that God is going to send us guidance, prophets, right? When you believe in that God that you just said, and you believe in that guidance, the prophets, the last being the prophet Muhammad, you're Muslim. Peace and blessings be upon all the prophets. Right? We love them all. Like we love Jesus, we love Moses, we love Abraham, we love Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. Right? That's the Muslim belief. Thank you, thank you. Makes sense, huh? All right, read the Quran, come back. We'll keep this conversation going. No problem, it's a gift. Thank you. Have a good day. آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية